the ref who uh, appears to be stuck in a tree here. As we are back with round four of the Lizardmen round robin elimination preliminations here, we are kicking off with Ten Ten How Ten Howie. To, let's, let's call him Ten Ten. Um, as you could hear Kitty in the background there of that one. Uh, so uh, uh, ten, ten Ten here is bringing some Pterodon f uh, riders with Fire Leech Bolas. We've seen these multiple times. They tend to do okay, but the AI seems to use them very poorly. We've got uh, Tehen, Tehen Howie, Tehen, Tehen Hoan, Hoan Nuina. He's got two tails and uh, and a big uh, and a big red crest. Not sure if he's excited or that's just a skin condition. Uh, alongside a Stegodon with uh, a lot of uh, skink riders on the back who will be throwing javelins at opponents there. Uh, they seem very happy with themselves. We've got a skink cohort who are also going to be throwing javelins at all and sundry. He's bringing a Razordon hunting pack. A uh, very nasty set of little lizards there. Lots of little spikes on those buggers. Some temple guards. Hard hitting infantry. We've seen these do great work in past rounds. Alongside a unit of red crested skinks. And forming a skirmish line. He has a unit of skink skirmishers with their blow darts. And a skink chieftain. Who will also be providing some long range fire support for snazzy gold helmet. Across from him is previous winner Krokgar with his heavy hitting force. He's also bringing on some Pterodon riders with the Fire Leech Bolas. His front skirmish line is also featuring a unit of Temple Guard with their very large shields, powerful weapons, and thick armor, both natural and uh, forged in I don't know, like, I don't know, space forges. I'm not quite sure with the slam. Uh, some chameleon skinks there, providing some skirmish range firepower and some standard Saurus warriors with shields, just to hold that front line. He's got a unit of feral cold ones, who are basically just raptors, as far as I can tell. Um, alongside another unit of Saurus warriors behind that, he's bringing his own skink chieftain. There's Krokgar himself with his uh, rather resplendent uh, uh, shield claw thing. I'm not sure, is it like a robot hand? Who knows? Alongside some more sources with uh, spears and shields and cold one spear riders a very different force uh, Across the way, so we'll see how this plays out in this map that is uh, Definitely been infested by the Skaven as we can see all the way down there some uh, some warp stone glowing in those pits and as we know the Skaven and the Saurus uh, warriors or lizard men do not get along They're famously bitter enemies for many 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 years you can see that Krokgar at the moment is choosing to stand his ground. Not a bad idea. He doesn't need to get in too close. He's starting to march forward now. Slowly, doesn't need to charge across. Meanwhile, 10-10-1-1. Ten, 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 one, one. Uh, uh, Duran Duran, he's pushing forward with his forces. He's still back there next to the Stegodon. Don't blame him. No, uh, why would you not want to be next to a giant? Um, a rather ponderous uh, creature. It seems like it... Like its belly might be dragging across the floor. I think they overfeed this Stegodon, to be honest. His little stumpy little tail. As uh, this this large section in the middle, that, that's going to cause some interesting uh, diversion of troops. Well, it looks like both armies are just going to go around the same side, and we're going to get stuck in here as the Cold One Spear Riders charge into the Razordon hunting pack. Now the Razordon units, they're the equivalent of I, I'd say like dire wolves and stuff for vampire accounts. They're fast units. They don't have a lot of hit points, they're good for getting around the flanks, smashing into skirmish units. They definitely should not be charging into Cold One Spear Riders, who are nasty hard-hitting cavalry. Uh, the Red Crested Skinks, on the other hand, may have a better chance against these Cold One Spear Riders, and they are actually retreating from this fight, aided by the Pterodon Fire Leech Bolas there, who are now going to be raining some destructions, we can see. Lots of casualties there caused by the explosion. The main battle line has been joined here in the centre, as the two units of Temple Guard are now just smacking hell out of each other. The Stegodon, bro, just smashing its way through. Sending lizards, both friend and foe, flying in every direction. Uh, just as a quick reminder, blue banners are Krokgar's forces, black banners are Tehenwin's forces. If anyone knows how to properly pronounce it, please post it in the comments. The Skink Chiefs are now being chased away by the Pterodons of Krokgar. Meanwhile, the rear line, it looks like the Feral Cold Ones didn't put up that much of a fight. They're also being a hit with the Flock of Doom spell, which is going to cause damage over time. The Skirmish line of Krokgar, yeah, quite happy on this hill back here. 
just firing away. Looks like they're uh, trying to focus down the Stegodon there. It's taken about a third of its hits. It's not too bad, not too bad. Meanwhile, we've got the two leaders here. There's Krokgar and uh, Tehen uh, battling it out. Right in the middle of the uh, the scrum here in this front line. We, we've got a unit of Skink Skirmishers on Tehen's side retreating. Not surprising, they have been flanked by the Cold One Spear Riders and the Fire Leech Bolas. It looks like his forces are now, majority of forces are now pinned between two different groupings of uh, Krokgar's forces and this is not going to end well. The Temple Guard for Tehen are doing their best and they are actually causing more casualties. Only by a few though, but the Temple Guards of Krokgar are starting to feel the strain here as their numbers are being thinned. There's a constant buff going on at the same time, which is definitely aiding Krokgar's forces significantly. We saw this with his clutch victory over Master Mundi, where it really, really easily could have gone either way, but it looks like this time Krokgar has taken on board the criticisms uh, from the previous round. He's, he's learned from his mistakes, he's focusing heavily on what works best for him, and that is hard-hitting infantry backed by a few elite units of skirmishers, and it's really paying a, a dividends here. His Cold One Spear Riders, although they're few in number, they have gone into a rampage, which is great for them because it means they won't retreat, they'll just keep fighting. Meanwhile, Krokgar's just initiated a massive buff there. He has uh, activated the swiftness of Itzel, increasing the speed, and it also uh, is an explosion effect, which just wounded those uh, skink cohorts who are now running. And to be honest, I don't think there's much else here. I don't think Jeff's going to be very impressed, and I think he's going to be calling this round fairly soon. What we saw was a bit of a slaughter there. If we have a look at the max numbers, it was 546. Uh, troops uh, from Tehen going up against 582 from Krokgar. Not a huge disparity in there, but you can see the remaining numbers of 400 troops for Krokgar to 243 of Tehen. And uh, despite having uh, access still to hit the Stegodon unit, which has just decided to charge Krokgar to very little effect. <laughs> it's having a bit more effect now. It's sending it's sending some of those Sauruses flying, and I'm sure it's I'm sure it's going to get a few kills. Stegodons are. A fairly tough unit to kill. A lot of hit points on the dinosaur units in the Lizardman roster. You have to do a lot of focus fire or have some very high armor piercing units to uh, very quickly burn their hit points down. It is close to dying, but I think it will probably survive. The Skink Chief is still there, firing away, so probably picking up a kill here and there. Meanwhile, Tehen has gone back into the fight. Was that a good idea in such low hit points? Surrounded by his enemies. He's activating some kind of buff. He's he's flailing wildly. He's now just having a bit of a jog. Uh, the Sauruses also don't seem to be too bothered. Oh no, that one, that one went for it. He missed him, but you know, it's it's, uh, it's the thought that counts. Oh, Ten has appeared to have suffered some kind of coronary and died. No one seemed to hit him. He just fell over. Uh, but that that counts it as uh, as him being defeated. So there we go. Uh, congratulations, there, Crocker. I think Jeff's going to call this any second. There it is. Jeff has called. The match. So we have a look at the post battle stats here. Tehen brought 549 lizard men with him, 374 were killed, leaving him with 175 compared to Krokgar's 582, losing 206 with 376 remaining. Kro uh, sorry, Tehen had 30 kills himself, did a lot of damage. Uh, meanwhile, the Skink Chief was, I'd say, pretty underwhelming. In fact, he got away with, with pretty much all of his health intact. Poor showing by the Skink Chief. The Red Crested Skinks didn't last very long, only scoring 9 victories. The Temple Guard, 75 kills. Respectable, but that's what you expect from a, a, a rank 3. Very uh, high tier unit there for the infantry side of the Lizardmen. Skink Cohort with Javelins did even worse. 3 kills. Uh, the Skink Skirmishers, 13. The Pterodon Riders, 8. Stegodon, oh, sorry, Rosedon Hunting Pack, 7. And the Stegodon got 32. Overall, pretty, pretty poor showing there. On the opposite side, Krokgar apparently got zero kills. Not sure how that works, but I guess he spent most of his time hitting Tehen. Uh, while the rest of his units, uh, most of them did fairly minimal work. But actually, the Pterodon Riders, 100 kills. The Cold One Spear Riders, 174. I mean, accounting for it, they, they, were, they were responsible for 274 of the 374 losses. Those two units alone virtually wiped out the army of Tehen, and the rest of them are just kind of making up the numbers. So, uh, pretty interesting stats there from Krokgar's forces, and uh, two very 
high rank standout units at the end of it. So that was that round. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you for round five of the Lizard Men. A lot of Lizard Men in this one. Seven um, Legendary Lords in total. So we'll see how it goes in the next one in the penultimate round. Have a good one all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.